It doesn't matter if you're young or old, everyone loves dinosaurs. Travel back in time with reporter Kathleen Keller to visit BYU's Museum of Paleontology. Down the street from the football stadium is the BYU Museum of Paleontology, where they have everything from dinosaur skeletons to fossils. This building's been here since 1976, but prior to that, it was located in Irene Science Center, on the north side of Irene Science Center, and been there for, I don't know how long, early, since before the 60s. The museum attracts visitors of all ages. The museum in general, it's open to the public, of course, and uh, it's for people of all ages. We have a lot of people, with, uh, young families come in, and then we have a lot of older people come in as well, a whole broad spectrum. Come on, everyone loves a dinosaur, right? Oh, yeah. But it's more than just a place to come look at dinosaur bones. If you look through the back window, you'll get a glimpse of the prep lab where students dig and drill through big rocks. Prep lab is where we, uh, it's short for preparation lab. Once the bones are collected in the field, everyone thinks about the bones being excavated and all, but then once they're brought back to the museum, you have to then remove all the rock from them and harden them up, glue the pieces together, get ready for study or for exhibit, and that's what the prep lab is. They use a variety of tools to uncover fossils. They use everything from a big drill to break open a big rock to a sewing needle to remove a tiny grain of sand from a delicate bone. In there they use little miniature jackhammers the size of pencils, I guess you would say, for the small ones, and some up to uh, chisels about six, eight inches long. In many of the rocks they find bones and other remains, but sometimes they find remains from an undiscovered new species. We're working on a fellow that's not a dinosaur, he's about about 18 inches long. It's a bizarre little fellow. He has a claw on the end of his tail. He has opposable thumbs with huge claws. His, his arms look like they were taken from a mole, these huge digging arms. And the head has large eyes. It looks just like a bird. So it's quite a bizarre little creature. This dinosaur is one of many skeletons here at the museum. To give you an idea of its size, I'm about five feet tall and this dinosaur isn't even fully grown yet. So just imagine how big an adult would be if you were standing next to it. So whether you're a seasoned paleontologist or you just want to look at some dinosaur bones, the Museum of Paleontology has something for everyone. Uh, I'd love to have any, invite anyone down. It's free and we're open from uh, 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. Kathleen Keller, BYU Weekly.